Hi and welcome back to one of my tutorials. Uh, today we're going a bit further into the if-else statements. Last tutorial we made a statement that uh, would check our credit with the if-else statement. Today we're going to do exactly the same but make it a little bit uh, more advanced. Uh, with a lot of games you receive a message to upgrade your credit if it's running out. Let's say you have five days of credit remaining, um, the game will tell you to buy more credit or else it will one run out and you won't be able to play. Uh, we're going to make uh, that ourselves. So this is the situation we're going to use. Let's say I want the computer to tell me to upgrade when I have 10 credit or less. And if I have 3 credit or less, I shouldn't be able to play. Okay? So open up the PHP editor. Okay. Make a new PHP file like so. And let's make a PHP tag inside the header. And I always close it up right away so I don't make any errors with that. Okay, so let's make three variables. The limit, the warning, and our credit. So let's say limit uh, equals to uh, three. Uh, that's the limit that uh, if it reaches three or less, we won't, uh, aren't able to play. Let's make uh, the warning. So the warning will pop up at 10. So if we have 10 or less credit, it will tell us to upgrade soon. Uh, we also have the credit s itself. Normally it would read credit uh, out of some s sort of database or whatever, but uh, that's a bit more advanced for now. So let's just code the credit inside of prog our program. Okay, It's just the main idea to understand how if-else statements work. So let's say our credit is 5, okay? Now, I want an if-else statement that, uh, let's say, um, if the our credit is bigger than the warning, it will uh, allow us to play without any, any sort of thing, okay? So let's say if uh, credit is bigger than uh, our warning, then... Uh, with some code language uh, it says uh, if then, but I'm, uh, we don't have to use that in PHP. So let's continue. Let's make a variable with our message. Message will be uh, you're allowed to play. You're allowed to play like so. Okay, uh, but what if we don't, uh, what if the credit is uh, under the limit? Okay, then we shouldn't be allowed to play. But instead of uh, saying else, we're going to say else if. Okay, so the, you can use it multiple times in an if else statement, uh, but you always finish with an else. I'll show in a sec. So else if our credit is uh, less than our limit, then um, the message should be um, you are not allowed to play okay you are not allowed to play upgrade uh, please upgrade okay um, but what if uh, we do have more credit than the limit but it's below the warning do you know what I mean? So um, it should be else. Uh, so um, we're uh, telling the computer here if our credit is above 10, you see 10 is over here, then it should say you're allowed to play. But if it's below limit, we're not allowed to play. So we didn't assign anything for between 3 and 10. Do you understand? Because it's either uh, below 3 or above 10. So everything else would be between the 3 and between the 10. Okay, so else, else, it doesn't matter what else, the message would be um, you're allowed to play but please upgrade soon. Like so. Alright, so this is uh, our if-else statement. Um, I hope that you understand that if we want to add another uh, demand to our if-else 
else statement, um, you would have to uh, open brackets and put uh, your demand inside. But because uh, we already uh, closed everything off, everything below 3 will uh, get this message and everything above 10 will get this message. So that's why I don't, uh, I'm not going to program uh, else between 3 and 10 because uh, it's the only thing that's left. Do you understand? I hope you do because else just leave a comment and I'll answer it. Okay. So now uh, this is our if else statement. Now we're going to make our body uh, PHP like so. And now we're going to say um, now I want to show you that you can always use PHP inside HTML. So let's say um, your credit um, is you can open a PHP tag anywhere you want. Well, I'm not sure if you can open it anywhere, but you can open it uh, in in the middle of your HTML sentence. Okay, so your credit is PHP, and an echo. Um, now we're going to use the variable credit, like so. Um, let's close it off and a point. Your credit is PHP echo credit and close it off. Okay, and, and under that I want uh, in big text open up a PHP thingy echo our message. Okay, now uh, I hope that you understand that these messages are this message is. Uh, decided by the if else statement so it all depends on the credit okay so let's try it out it our credit is 5 right now so it should say that we're allowed to play but please upgrade soon let's check it out view using interpreter okay your credit is 5 you're allowed to play but please upgrade soon you see so because it's between the 3 and the 10 it will give us this message over here now let's say it is 11 it's above 10 so it should say if credit is above 10 which it is you're allowed to play okay let's check it out yes your credit is 11 you're allowed to play okay now let's try it out with zero credit or one one for fun and you using interpreter your credit is one you're not allowed to play please upgrade so with the else if statement uh, you uh, could add another um, demand to your uh, wish. With the if else statement uh, you're not only uh, able to uh, put two demands in it but you're allowed to make more demands than two. Okay, Just use the else if statement and give your demand inside the brackets and what you want to happen uh, beneath it. Okay, so let me explain um, the if else statement a little bit more. So open up a new PHP file and I'll show you. So if condition then statement if is true, uh, just read what I'm typing. Uh, you don't, it doesn't work. It I'm just trying to explain what everything is. Else if uh, condition to a statement if true. Else if condition tree statement if is still true. But let's say else statement if false. Now I hope that you know what I'm trying to explain here. So if this condition is true, statement if is true. Else if condition 2 is true, statement if is true. Else if condition 3, statement is true, then this statement is true. Else if all of those aren't true, then the statement is false. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to explain. It, um, else is always false. And if and else if 
are true if they are actually true okay all right let's go back to this file over here now in this case um, we only have one line of code we want to use but as we're going advanced anyway I'll show you to use these brackets if you want to use more lines of code okay like so and it's turning a little bit more advanced right now but that doesn't matter okay look these also work and I recommend that you use brackets from now on okay there. okay um, well I think that's everything for today I'll show you the switch statement in my other tutorial soon uh, that's basically an if statement but a little bit different I'll show you next time that's all I hope you learned something and please comment rate and subscribe